Hey guys, it's Lee with the Turquoise Valentine and I'm pulling this up on my laptop just in case I can't see the comments. So I hope y'all are having a good week and doing the 12 days of Christmas. This is day 10 and I'm trying to pull up my video and turn the sound down. Hey Patty! Um, Cause I know some people were saying they wasn't having comments, they couldn't see comments and stuff. So I am gonna pull it up on my laptop and hopefully that will work in case I lose everybody. Hey, hey, okay y'all, we are gonna make, um, hey Opa, thank you for sprinkling. We're going to make a cute little snowman craft. I have, um, I've done these a long time. I've done them in the, you know, a lot in the past. I've sold them before. And we are, I'm gonna show you how I make them. Um, and you can improvise with whatever you have if you don't have the supplies. Hey, Paul and Cindy and Tracy. Um, hey, Cynthia. Um, if you don't have the exact supplies I have, you can improvise with, you know, a styrofoam ball or a different color ornament or the clear ornaments would work and you could paint the inside white, you know, put some white paint, do around in there. So I just use these white, um, they're Christmas balls that are white and right now they might be hard to find. These are, I've had these since last year. Like I said, I keep usually keep these. Hey, Lindy and Amanda, I keep these um, in stock. Thank you, Zelda. Of you know, I keep them on hand because I make these at Christmas, so I know I go ahead and get them early. Um, so, but like I said, you could use the clear ones or whatever color. You could paint it white, spray paint them. If you can't find the white ones or silver ones or whatever, but these are just the white. I know it kind of looks silver on the camera, but it's it's white, kind of a shiny white. Hey, Faye from California. Okay, so I take these balls, and you can do this on any size you want to. These are just the kind of average average size, I guess. Um, and you can pick some fabric or whatever you have. Use a hand towels from the Dollar Tree. Whatever you want to use would be good. Um, those little tree skirts that they make for the little trees at Dollar Tree would work good, too. I have a humongous um, fabric stash. I could insulate. A small closet with it <laughs> which is what it's doing right now um anyway and so um i have lots of christmas fabric that you know i'll facebook wants to tell me that i'm live and i don't know why they do that um but anyway um um i pick up fabric when it's on sale after christmas they'll they'll mark it down i'll pick it up then um hey melanie glad you caught me live too hey megan um so anyway, so just whatever fabric you want to use to match your decor, you can use um, uh, another way you can do it too. Well, I'll get to that in a minute. So I'm going to show you how I do it this way because this is the way I normally do it and I'll show you another way to do it too. Um, so this is actually fleece. Fleece works really good for this um, just because it's puffy. It's already that fluffiness to it. Gives it that kind of a soft look. And um, so I take my little ball and I kind of go around the ornament like this to kind of see how long I, or how, you know, wide my fabric needs to be. Cause we're gonna make him a little hat, okay? So um, I do that and this piece was already this size. I didn't cut it ahead of time. I really like this fabric though. Look at the peppermints and the lime green, I love it. Um, so I always just kind of measure around and then I'm gonna measure, it slides off the off the ornament too, so it's really, kinda of gets tricky. So you have to kinda of do your hands. Hey Crystal, hey Debbie. So I'm gonna measure a little bigger because I'm gonna fold it over once I get it on. And um, so I'm just gonna cut that little piece off that I don't need. These are very simple to do. You could do these with older kids. Um, so let's see, so now I'm gonna take the fabric that I cut and I'm just gonna fold up a little, um, I guess a hem is what I'm gonna try to say. I'm just gonna fold up a little edge so he'll have a little, little rim around his hat. So that's what I'm gonna do. And I'm not gonna sew, I'm just gonna hot glue. I'm gonna hot glue that down. And it's just regular glue stick. These are Gorilla glue sticks. So they're made for all kinds of things, but I do have the fabric ones, but I'm not using it today. I'm making a snowman ornament, Ruby. Thank you, Daryl, for the stars. 
Um, we're gonna make a snowman. It's like a little snowman head ornament. And like I made these for years. I've sold a bunches of them. They turn out really cute, especially, hey Colin, hey Sandy. Um, especially if, you know, you have a whole bunch on a tree and you're like me, you like snowmen and they look really cute if you do all their hats and different fabrics and different colors and they're just really cute and happy little ornaments and I love to make them. Okay. Oh, thank you for my shirt. Is it, well, I was going to say it's in my shop, but they have gone up and out of the shop for the year. Um, so anyway, so I wrap, I take my, this is my little ornament. So what I need to do first though, is I'm going to put the hanger on first. That just makes it a little easier. This is just some Baker's twine from the gift section at Walmart. I know Dollar Tree has it too. I just couldn't find my roll from Dollar Tree. Now the trick is going to be finding the end. Where is the end? Well, there it is. All these little stripes, it's hard to see. And I'm just going to go ahead. And I always like to cut way too much because I can cut it off. <laughs> um, and I like to put this on first. And I'm going to sneeze. Oh, y'all. Hang on, got to sneeze. <sighs> Sorry. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> that was terrible. Be on live and have to sneeze. <laughs> and so I'm going to tie it way up because um, I don't really know. His hat's probably going to come to about here. So I'm going to tie it about that far. Ooh, y'all, my allergies are getting the best of me. It's hot here today. One day it's cold. One day it's hot. <laughs> Thank you, Heather. <laughs> Thank you, Opa. Yeah, I just, whew, I have terrible allergies. I don't know if because I was getting out all this fabric. I don't know. Okay, so I went ahead and put that on just to make it easier on me. Um, so we got our little, ugh, my nose was like it's got fuzz on it. <laughs> I got our little um, piece of fabric, and I see I folded it. I folded the edge up to make like a little hem, like the little top part of his little toboggan or whatever you want to call it. And so this is the tricky part because you got to figure out where this is in relation to what you're doing because you want it to hang straight. But at the same time, you don't want to, like, put it way down here where you don't have room for his face. So, I kind of like to lay it down. And I want to go, uh, I'm going to get over this sneeze. I was fine before I come live. I get on live and I have to sneeze and everything else. Okay, so, I got him like this. Here's the top part up here. So I'm going to drop it down a little bit and push this up just a little so I have room for his face. And they want to slip and slide all over these little balls. So um, I'm just going to go ahead and glue this little end down right here to help me out. And I'm going to hold it a second. <laughs> yes, Linda, I have terrible allergies. I take, um, I take one pill in the daytime and one pill at night, different one. So to try to get me to not be so um, sneezy all the time, cause mine are terrible. <laughs> Have you sympathy sneezing? Trish, you're so funny. Y'all are hilarious. Okay guys, so I'm just holding this on. I'm glad so many of y'all are on at this time of the day. Um, hopefully within the, ne in the next couple of weeks, I'll get to go live some during the day. Um, um, because I've been so busy, I haven't been able to. So, because I got a bunch more Christmas craft than I need to get in and show y'all. Thank you, Penny, for sprinkling. Okay, so I just glued the two back pieces down. Okay, just like that. And I did cut a little extra bigger, and I'm glad I did because it just barely meets in the back. So, see, now we just have his little hat that it's come off, the, you know, it comes off the ornament. 
So I'm gonna, and the fleece stretches a little bit. So that's, that's good too, cause you got that little give with the fleece. But they just make little fuzzy little hats and I love the way the fleece looks. Okay, so let me get it where I want it. And then I'm gonna put a dot of glue in the front just to secure that part down. Whoop. And my glue wants to ooze out and I can't let that happen. I can't have glue on his face. Oh, Christy, you're watching from work? I'm getting in trouble. So then I'm gonna go to the sides and I'm gonna glue down just a little. So I'm gonna do it this way and then I'm gonna show y'all another way to do it. You would love if I came on every day. Whew, that's a lot of crafting, but yeah, I probably could. <laughs> oh, you're recovering from surgery, Melanie? I hope it goes well and you get better soon. Laying up, watching all these crafters, aren't you? That glue string is like floating in midair. <laughs> you wore your Joy shirt today, awesome. I know, I love them. They're so soft. Okay, so now we're left with this, okay? And yes, that's way too tall because his hat's not going to be near that tall, but we're going to take care of that. But first, I got to go back here. Well, I'll tell you what, I'm not going to do that first. All right, so now I'm going to stuff my little string down in there where I won't cut it. And I'm going to cut a little of this off because it is too it is too long for my liking. So I'm just going to lay it down and I'm going to cut some off. Okay. So I just cut some off. So now I'm left with this. You could be a he could make a top hat if he wanted to. <laughs> but I'm going to do some fringe, okay? So I'm just going to take my scissors and I'm going to cut about a little over halfway. So you can, let me show you how far down I cut. So here's the fabric and I, I didn't cut all the way down, but it, it's not really going to matter. So if you cut too much, it's okay. If you don't cut enough, it's okay too. Cause we are probably going to give it a haircut. <laughs> Sorry for all the sniffling y'all, but it's 70 to 71 degrees outside. And then the next day it'll probably be 30 degrees and it's just crazy. <laughs> My nose is trying to run. Okay. And I was fine before I went live. I don't know what the deal is. And I, I'll tell you what I think it is now that I think about it. I bought garbage bags the other day. And I changed out my garbage bag. Well, these are like, I'm just going to shut my garbage can. They're like the scented garbage bags. I don't know what scent this is, but God knows I'm not going to buy them again. I think that's what it is. Because I just changed my garbage bag in here. Where do I live? I live in North Mississippi. Up right below Memphis, Tennessee. Okay. All right. So, I just... I just cut... Um, oh, I don't feel bad, Suki. I just... My allergies are horrible. All right. So I just went and I cut slits all the way around, making some little fringe, okay? So I got that, and then I'm going to gather it up, and we're going to make this little toboggan. And I just love these little guys because they're so happy. Um, let's see. I got all kinds of ribbon and trim over here. Let me see what time it is. Okay, so I've got um, this ribbon. I bought this at Old Time Pottery. Have y'all ever been in Old Time Pottery before? Yeah, Penny, I didn't mean to buy them scented, and I kept smelling something. I'm like, what is that smell? And it's the garbage bags. Um, old Time Pottery. This came from, old, this is like $3.99, and it's, doesn't tell me. Doesn't tell me. I guess it did on the, well, it wasn't wrapped in anything. Oh, 10 yards. But I love Old Time Pottery. If y'all have, um... If y'all have one near you or have you ever been to one, they're awesome. I went in, I went when I went to Gatlinburg a few weeks ago and got a few things in old time pottery. <laughs> yes, I love the peppermint stripes. I was in Hobby Lobby today, y'all, and they are like wiped out of everything Christmas. Just about it. No ribbon, no anything. Okay, so I'm just trying to find the front. And I'm going to bring my ribbon around. 
And I'm just gonna tie off his little hat with all the little fringes. And you could fringe it after if you wanted to. But um, this ribbon might be too wide. I might have to make sure my little thing is still hanging out the top. I may have to go to another, I don't know, that might work. Okay. Oh, y'all, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Okay, and I'm just going to cut the ribbon off. Well, I probably should have. I'm going to leave it like that. I should have tied it double, but I'll hot glue it. It won't go anywhere. And then I'm going to cut, cut them off like that. Okay? So his hat's all, like, twisted up. But see why I put that first? So you could have, um, now I need to roll it around to where my knot's down in the side there where you don't see the knot. Okay. So see, now I just have that little hanger. And the more you make, the better you get at knowing how long this needs to be and how long um, your fabric needs to be. And then I just kind of pull up all of these little fringes. So now we have this little, uh, little poof, poof on top. And sometimes you'll make them and this part will be long and you can just snip it right off and give them a little haircut and it'll be just fine. Let's see. I didn't even notice that I wore my snowman shirt and I'm doing a snowman ornament. That worked out good, didn't it? Okay. So there that is. So see, I got my, my Baker's twine and then I got this candy stripes too. And I need to glue that knot down because I didn't double it. So I don't want it to come undone. Okay. Just put a little glue behind there where it doesn't try to unravel on me. And I know y'all are thinking, oh no, she's going to draw a face and I can't do that. Just watch. I got it easy, y'all. Easy. And you don't have to do it the way I do it. Okay. So here he is. Sticking to my glue. There he is, just like that. Okay, so I cheat a little bit when it comes to the face. I know y'all remember the 3D puffy paint, little squirt bottles that's got the little tips on the end. That's what I'm gonna use to make his eyes. Let me get it started over here so it won't blob out on me. Um, and so I'm just kinda kinda I keep my finger back here so I'll know exactly where the back is. So I'm dead across from the back. So I won't be, his face won't be over here on the side somewhere. And I'm just going to make um, him a little little dot for his eye. And this way it's kind of a 3D. But you could do it with a Sharpie. You could do it with regular acrylic paint. Whichever you choose to do. I just like it because it's got that real fine tip on the end. And then I'm going to come down here and make some. Come on. It's hard to get this stuff. It's like you don't want to push too much. But then again, you don't want to just not push enough to where it won't come out. And so I'm making little bitty dots for his mouth. See? Let me hold it where the light don't. The light don't get on it. See his little eyes? Let me see if I can hold it close. See, and they're not perfect. They're not perfect. But see how they're raised off of his face? But then you have to be careful not to smash it <laughs> and get it on everything. So I'll, um, what I do is I have like a paper towel tube that I cut. And when I get done, I'll just lay them right over here like this where they'll dry. What kind of brand of paint? This is called Scribbles, and I know they have it at Walmart. Um, it's a dollar seven at Walmart over where the um, the t-shirt section is, where they have all that tie-dye stuff. They have um, all that over there, and they have these little bitty paint paint things, little bitty. And uh, I just have the white. I get white, orange, and black because I use the white if I do gingerbread men. These make perfect little gingerbread men the little wood gingerbread men or something, and I make them, they, this is perfect for their little icing. All right, so now I'm gonna make his little nose with my orange. And I've had these paints right here for a couple of years. See how easy it makes it? 
I know that doesn't look really orange in the light, but that light is so bright. I'm trying to hold it where the light don't shine on it. See how it sticks off of his face? It's like a 3D. Isn't it cute? You order several colors from Amazon. You remember when we used to make the shirts and we had the little jewels and we put the uh, puffy paint on them and the little gold dots and all that stuff? That was so much fun back then. We thought we were something back in the, that was the 80s, 90s, I guess. So anyway, so there's that. Now, if you wanted to get even fancier, let me see if I can't set him down right here. So you could just set him down like that and that has to dry Let's see if it tells me how long. It's really for fabric, but we're good. Let dry flat four hours. Fabric can be washed in 72. So four hours it has to dry. So you could let dry overnight, it would be fine. So I'm going to, I'm gonna make in some little rosy cheeks. This is whew, Apple Barrels Cameo Pink is what that is. Just like a real light pink, and it may be, um, I think it's going to be okay. I was going to say it may be even too bright pink. Let me find what paintbrush I want to use. And I'm just going to make him some little dots on the sides of his mouth, like little cheeks. Little rosy cheeks. That just gives him a little, little character, little personality. Probably be better if I'd have done that before his nose, but it's okay. So look, he's like coming to life. And he looks different without that light shining directly on him. Can't get the light to shine on him. But see his face? You can see it there. But it's just a real light baby, baby pink. Baby, baby. What's baby, baby pink? Where did I get that from? <laughs> baby, baby pink. See, he's all cute. I didn't even bring any water in here. So that's one way you can do him. You gotta fluff his little, his little ball out, his little um, hat. But see, you could do, like I have this fabric, you could do one in this color. You could do, you know, I have, this is regular fabric. You could do buffalo check. You could do in any color to match all your Christmas decor. And these are so cute. And I know some people I know have uh, snowman trees. And these would be perfect for snowman trees. Perfect, perfect. So let me set him over here to dry where I'm not going to knock him down. And guys, right after I'm on, Amanda made, Amanda with Amanda made, she is up next. So y'all have to go show her some love and see her. Um, what did I do? I have another ball out here somewhere. Okay, I'll just get one out of the box because I don't know where I set it down. <laughs> I've lost a ball, I've lost a Christmas ornament. So that's the ornaments. And you can, you could use the clear, if you have the clear. Okay, I know y'all have seen this a thousand times. But you could take, if you have the clear glass ones or plastic, you could take some white acrylic paint and squirt in your ornament and then roll it all around until it coats the whole inside and then turn it upside down to drain. And let them dry like overnight. And then you'll have white on the inside and you could do the same exact thing I'm doing. Or you could do the glitter on the inside. Same exact thing. It would be really cute with glitter. Um, I just happened to have these and that's what I'm, I did with them. So here's another option you could do. Socks. I know y'all probably have, I think these came from Walmart. I've had these because I have a stash of socks and stuff um, that I make snowmen out of and stuff. Um, fuzzy socks from Dollar Tree. Um, if you want to get really crazy, you can get some fun socks like this from the Dollar Tree. If you have a little girl and she has to have a tree in her room, um, these regular size ornaments are perfect for going right up in that, on that, um, that little ornament. And of course, I would glue it down, but the size is perfect for that. Isn't that just precious? How cute that snowman would be. Um, I'm going to do this one out of this sock. But you could use this end, the toe part. You could use any part of the sock. So you might could get a couple or three out of one sock, okay? Um, so I'm going to use this because it already has like this little, 
uh, rib around the around the, the top part. So we're gonna do one this way because he matches my tree. My tree, well, it'll go on my crafty tree actually, but my real my big tree is red and black and white and black buffalo chick with all of our memorabilia ornaments on it. But now I have a crafty tree. If y'all haven't ever watched me before, I bought a tree this year just to put all the ornaments on it that I make um, live. Whoop, and I jerked the little thing right off of there. The cuff. That's it, Opa. The cuff of the sock. Ah. Yeah, I like the red and black check too. All right, so let me put his little hanger on. Let's see what kind of hanger I'm going to make him. I got this pretty ribbon. Look at this pretty ribbon from, it's from uh, Old Time Pottery too. If you're so lucky to have one near you, I'm jealous. Because <laughs> I love it. But this is like a it's glittery, silvery ribbon. It's really pretty. I think I'm going to use it instead of that, uh, that um, Baker's Twine. But y'all know why I bought this, this card of Baker's Twine, right? Y'all can see right in the middle why I bought this. <laughs> because it's got the turquoise and white in it. I love it. Oh, hey, Gwen. I'm glad you found me, too. Oh, Debbie, you're good. You had missed. You've only missed one snowman. Now I'm making the next snowman a little different. Um, just with a different topper. Y'all, this stuff has got glitter. Whew. Let me get out my, my handy-dandy little vacuum cleaner because I didn't realize this uh, glitter on here shed everywhere but evidently it does because I'm like I don't know if y'all can see it but I'm like sparkling y'all can't it it's just falling off my fingers the camera won't pick it up oh thank you Dolores for the stars you're so sweet okay so I'm gonna turn this around this time y'all this stuff is like glitter city I didn't know it was glitter city I wouldn't have used it that's all i need to get that up in my sinuses right but anyhow let me cut my tails off let's see what time it is i got my laptop over here because i was scared i wasn't going to be able to see um you bought a vacuum and you love it i do too because you know i can just suck that glitter run right on up and it gets it too it's got like little brushes on the bottom and it'll move it around until it gets it all okay so i just did that so I'm gonna take my sock and I'm just gonna kinda of eyeball it this time. Hopefully it'll work. So that makes it easy for you. You've already got it a tube. You don't have to worry about gluing it together. You don't have to worry about rolling it up because um, it's already got that cuff as Opa said. Where I get the mini vac, I get it on Amazon and I absolutely love it. It doesn't have batteries. It charges by USB. And let me open the top because I have to show everybody this or you'll be messaging me going, where in the world is the cord? This is the, I do this every time I'm live. I'm like, I can't get the thing open. It slides to the side and it won't slide. I just turned it on. But it is like the best thing ever. Um, yes, Christy, see? Because you should have seen me trying to find the cord. I was like, okay. So the, the top just slides to the side. And your USB cord is stored in the top. And then um, when you get ready to plug it in, you just plug it in here and plug it to your laptop or your little phone charger or whatever. But it, um, all my little, see it even sucked up that piece of ribbon over there that I just cut off. It sucked that up too. But see, can y'all see all that glitter in there? It sucks it all up. Open that trash can and smell that scented stuff. Whew. Oh, it's battery, yours is battery operated? That works too. I got it off um, Amazon and I have a link to it on my page. If you'll go to my main page sometime, whenever, um, cause I have to link it all the time cause people ask me. Um, and you'll scroll down a little bit cause I just did it the other night. I think Friday night, Monday, no, Monday night. Um, it's on my page and you'll see it and you can click the link. It'll take you right to the one I have. The name of it is Tehu, but that's not how it's listed on Amazon. So I don't, I don't know. I can just, I know about the one I've got. Oh, good, Angie. Okay. So I got my little loop, my sock, 
and I actually cut it long, but that's okay. So I'm gonna slide it down just like I did the other one. And it doesn't matter where's the front and the back until you get it to where you want it. And you know, the, high, the, the top, this is high. And then of course it goes down low in the back. Just go have room for his face. So then I'm gonna just kind of start gluing it down. And you have to be careful because this elastic wants to just slip off this ball. So you kind of have to uh, hold your mouth right. <laughs> So it won't, so it don't just go whoop and go up on the, get a piece of this ribbon and wipe this glue off so I won't burn myself. Because it wanted to ooze out from under his hat. Okay. Because that sock will just go whoop and fly right off of that ball. Okay. Get it all fixed like I want it. And then I'm just going to kind of go around the sides and put a little dot under there just to hold it. And I've had these that I've made years ago and they get stored in the attic and they're still just as good as they were the day that I made them. So they do fine. Your sinuses and allergies are bad. Mine are too. Mine are terrible. Okay, I kind of got a little glue on his hat, but it will be okay. All right, so there's that. So same thing, I'm gonna cut so see, I got a lot of hat this time. So I'm gonna go just down each little thing. And if you don't wanna fringe it, you don't have to. But now the fleece doesn't ravel, but this might ravel, and if you use regular flat fabric, it will, but that ravelly is gonna make it look even, even better. Try not to cut my, my hanger string. I'm just cutting these little strips. So have y'all been enjoying all the crafters? Yeah, Nancy, I think it was about 12 something maybe, that little vacuum, but I'm telling you it's worth every penny. Y'all been enjoying everybody, all the crafters? I've been trying to catch some of them when I can because I've been trying to get out order orders and get everything cut and shipped and packed and... Um, I'm about caught up though. Okay. All right. So see how this one does? These little sock, the sock wants to roll up into a little, little ball, like a little roll. See how it does? So it's going to look entirely different than the first one. So I, you probably got socks or if you go to the Dollar Tree, I know they got socks. And they got all kinds of socks. All the ones, yeah. yeah, Elizabeth, all the ones you could catch. I know it's a bunch, isn't it? 12 whole days and it's, um, let's see, it's uh, eight hours of people, yeah. All right, let's see. I think, no, I don't like that. I'm gonna just do the baker's twine around it this time. Where's my baker's twine? Oh, there it is. So I'm gonna just cut me off a piece of baker's twine. Find my front again. And get all my little little things wrangled up and then I'm gonna tie up the little my little fringes these little dudes are so cute and you could just embellish them how you want to and all kinds of little different embellishments or you know I better tie that again did I tie it? I did. I tied it twice. Okay. Let me cut that off. I'm OCD. They have to be the same side on each side. But see how different that looks with the, how the sock kind of rolls up and kind of looks uh, raggedy? And I'm not going to cut it, I don't think. I think I'm going to leave it just like that. That just gives it a little, um, little character. Didn't know there was any marathons. Um, Lou, I posted on my page and I posted in the group. It's the 12 days of Christmas. And they start at 12 o'clock every day and they go to 8 o'clock every night. Do the hats and let the grand... Yeah, the grandkids will do the faces. But you could totally paint this. You could do it with a Sharpie. Sharpies work great for this. And I'm just going to do the same thing. I'm just going to put out a little dot. And I kind of use my tip to kind of form it to make a, 
oval or a circle or and if you do them all you know do a whole bunch you could just line them all up and then do their eyes all at one time their noses all at one time like on an assembly line let me see if i can give him some eyebrows oh i made an eyebrow <laughs> Can't wait till y'all see my eyebrows. I'm always scared I'm gonna squeeze it too hard and then nothing comes out. There we go. Okay. So see, I made him I made him some eyebrows. <laughs> but you could get all cute and um creative with them. You could come back and put a little white dot in their eye. You could put googly eyes on them if you wanted to. Did the snowman? He uh, he got a he got a perm from the hairdresser. His are he's got those little um, roll curls in his hat, but I like the fringiness. I think it looks really rustic and um, worn. The way the sock turned out. Let's make his nose go the other way. But I gotta go. I gotta turn him around. Oh, I catch myself wanting to do their noses all the same direction. I don't know why. All right, so his is going this way. And then this little guy, his is going the other way. See, but they all turn out different. See how different he looks? And then see how different he looks? And I both, I did them both. So just however the paint does or comes out or how big you make your, um... I didn't roll it, Tana. When I cut the sock, when I cut the sock, and then I just cut slits and fringed it. It just wants to roll up like that. I guess because it's that stretchy material. But he looks really cute. See how cute he looks? And you don't have to put the, the pink on his cheeks. But I think I'll put a little, a little um, dot here. And a little dot over here. Probably should have done his cheeks before I did his nose. But I should have learned that from the last one I did. See how cute he is but you could have a whole a whole little tree of these guys and they would look adorable and you could do um i don't have any right here on me but you could do the smaller little ornaments i did have some laying here somewhere um the smaller balls from dollar tree or wherever and you could use like little kid socks and do the same thing or you could use the fabric with those and make a whole bunch of smaller ones. You can make a whole family. You could do like, um, you can make one for you, one for your husband, and then little ones for your kids. That would be so stinking cute. But they are adorable. I've made these for, for a long time. I'm trying not to mess up their faces, but aren't they adorable? They're so cute. Oh, Tony, you could, you could, you could do the face. You could do it with a Sharpie or whatever. You could just make a little, um, a little circle. Two little circles for his eyes. Well, those are ovals. And then you just go dot, 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 dot for his little mouth. And that's all. And then you just, I just take my paint and just squirt some out and then drag it and make the nose. Thank you, Sherry, for the stars. But it's easy. But see how it looks got that 3d look where they're kind of raised up off of there that's what the puffy paint does and it dries really good on there and um but like i said if you wanted to use a sharpie if you wanted to use acrylic paint if you wanted to use uh acrylic markers thank you marcia you could do the same thing the same effect so don't think you have to have this i just had it so it was something that um you know that i already had and i used Yes, all the crafters are in that one group right there. If y'all want to go see, it's called Simple Treasures Crafter Circle. Was the one with the green hat I saw? No, it was fabric. I just wanted to show you two different ways that it can be done that I do it. Um, I normally just do the fabric, but then the socks fit really good over the ornaments. So um, the socks work great. And, it, you know, if you're not into cutting and measuring your fabric and all that stuff the socks work good and so you could get probably one more out of here you could cut this middle part of the foot off 
and you know you'd have to roll it up just like I did on this one and glue it like a little hem and then um, make this little hem but this was the top cuff of the sock the top part so you could get two out of a sock so if you bought a pair of socks you could get four out of a dollar pair of socks but you know Dollar Tree has all these fuzzy socks um, they have this kind of socks I have a bucket full of socks <laughs> with all my Christmas stuff because I, um, like I said, I've made these for years and sold them in my vendor booth and stuff. But see how cute, how cute would that be on a little girl's tree? That would be so adorable on a little snowman. I've made them all kinds of colors and everything. Like these, you could get a whole bunch out of these socks. Because these are those, those knee-high whatevers. You could probably get three or four out of one sock on this on this pair. They'd be so cute. You're gonna have to do the replay. It's all right, Marsha. You can come back. You can watch everybody in the group. Um, there's you can watch all the replays you want because there's a whole bunch of them in the group. This is day ten of twelve, and there's been eight different crafters every day. So um, Amanda Maid is next. If y'all will go and show her some love too. Um, y'all go see what she's got up her sleeve. Amanda is near and dear to my heart because she likes to do miniature stuff. And I love, y'all know I love miniatures. So y'all gotta go see what she's making because I'm sure it is something really, really cute because she can make some cute stuff, little miniature stuff. <laughs> she doesn't always do miniatures, but I like miniatures and she does too. Thank you, Susan, for the stars. Yeah, so if I'm new to you, you can tap my face and you can hit those little dots up there and it will, um, you say, follow me or um, let me know when she goes live again. And I usually go live on Friday nights at 7.30 and Monday nights at 7.30. Um, thank you, Marsha. Um, so that's what I normally do. I would love for you to follow my page um, and I would love for you to go show these ladies some love too. If you're my regular follower, I'd love for you to go show all these ladies some love too. Because most of these ladies have been crafting every single day for the past 10 days. I haven't been able to just because I've been trying to get orders out the door and cut. And uh, my son got engaged Friday night and I've had all kinds of stuff going on. And so, um, so I was out of town for like three days. So uh, I wasn't able to go live those days. So, um, but these ladies have been crafting every, 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 um, day for 10 days to bring y'all all these crafts. So I would love for you to go and show them all some love. And there's a group called Simple Treasures, um, Simple Treasures Crafters Circle is the name of the group. And all the videos are in that group. They share it to that group. So you can go back and see everybody's, um, everybody's video in that group. So you don't have to go anywhere. Um, oh, thank you, Susan. Yes, I'm getting a new daughter. I love Paige, and they're happy as, um, two pigs in mud, and, um, they're excited. We've, she's already been, um, showing me some stuff, some ideas that she's got on decorations and all that stuff, so all that fun stuff is about to begin, and, um, I live four hours away from her, so I'm gonna try to help her where I can. I'm sure I'll be cutting some stuff and making some stuff for their wedding, so, um, thank you, Becky. Oh, good, Tammy. So, you've been called a lot of the, um, thing. Yes, Luann, go to the group, um, Simple Treasures Crafters Circle. And it will take you, you know, you'll see all the replays on there. And even the ones that we did back in the fall, they're all still there, too. So, you can watch Craft Into Your Heart's Desire. Um, you love all the snowmen behind me. Yes, you can tell I love snowmen and gnomes. But no, gnomes have taken over my house this Christmas. What time is it? I got six minutes. Gnomes have taken over my house this Christmas. <laughs> if they, if they come alive, um, uh, they're gonna they're gonna take us over in the night. <laughs> so I've got way too many gnomes, y'all. Thank you, Lori, for posting that. Lori just posted that group. If y'all want to go ahead and click that, and you can go into the group. And the next person, it'll be up in about 10 minutes. And that will be Amanda Maid. So go and, so go and check her out. Show her some love. Um, her husband plays guitar in the background and everything. It's awesome. So y'all go show her some love. Um, me too, Wendy. I have a bad addiction right now. I had to say no 
I went in Home Goods earlier and they have like a whole aisle of nothing but all these gnomes for Christmas and I just had to not look and just keep on walking. Oh Tiffany, you're doing on you're doing one on your live tonight. Awesome. I love gnomes. Thank you, Dorothy. Thank you, Nancy. All right, guys, well, I'm gonna hop off. So y'all go, y'all got 10 minutes to go find the group. And then, you know, if you don't know about the group and go see all the stuff in the group. And then Amanda will be on at three central time within about, about 15 minutes. So y'all got 15 minutes to go to the potty break and get you a drink. There's Tracy's link right there, Amanda made. So if y'all go to um, her and she'll be next. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. See y'all later. Y'all have a Merry Christmas and be safe. Thanks, guys. Bye.